Welcome to the Good News Program. I'm Pastor Rick. And I'm Cheryl. And if we look a little exhausted, we're in our brand new studio. We yes. are shooting this on Saturday right now. And uh, we're both pretty... We're, we're looking a little um, ragged around the edges, I guess you would say, but... You guys will not believe the new space that we had. Remember I told you last week we were moving, and we have spent hours with some help that came in, and we are transforming this space. So make sure you stay with us. Uh, in weeks to come, you're going to see some amazing transformations here. And if this is your first time viewing the Good News Show, we want to welcome you. This is going to be an abbreviated version of the show uh, because we are still getting things up and running. But we do indeed welcome you and hope you'll continue to look through the website and get some more information about the show. And Pastor Rick, you know what? We got some packages in the mail. We did. You know, this whole show that we're going to be doing is going to be on, on gratefulness. Yes. And before we talk about package, I want to talk about this little package. Uh -huh. We have been married for 40 years 40 years. Mm -hmm. My joke, what I tell everybody all the time, is that she's been happily married to me the last 25, you know, so... But I, she's not laughing, but I'm hoping that it's it, funny. But I'll tell you what, I am, you know, if there's anything I'm grateful for is my immediate family, which is my lovely wife and my daughter, who's not on the show today because we're going to get her back on. But she's mm -hmm. in the control room. We're just getting all the bugs she out of this. She is and, amazing. She picks up stuff so fast. Oh, just, and we had, the, we had the best Thanksgiving ever. Yeah. These ladies got together and worked. It's so wonderful to see your wife and your daughter in the kitchen together and cooking. Cooking. We, we and, made a turkey for all of you that know us. That was, was a big thing. It was just an incredible meal, but I'm just so thankful for having them in my life. And I'm thankful for Morningside Church here also. You know, since we're talking about Thanksgiving, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they gave us a, a, a turkey mm -hmm. for us. They gave a turkey for Steve and his, and family, his family, who was on the show last week. Mm -hmm. And they also gave us another turkey for Christmas time. I can't yes, believe that. Yes, we, so, we are stocked uh, up on turkey. I'm very grateful for uh, Pastor Kevin and, uh, you know, everyone there that's been helping us out. And, yes. And also, you can't see them right now, but he's going to be on at the end of the show. We've got some of the people here from, from Morningside our that friends. are helping us, our friends here. But I'm going to introduce him later on. But another thing I want to be thankful for is my family back home, my sister Jean <sighs> and my brother-in-law, Roger. We told them that we have moved to... Missouri here, and we're a little cold. and didn't have the clothing we needed. The shirt here is a nice flannel shirt that I got from her. I got tons of stuff, boxes of socks and gloves. And, and, you and Judy and Bill sent us uh, sweatshirts. Judy's my other sister. And L.L. Bean socks, which we love. And... Oh, scarves and sweaters. Um, you're gonna you're gonna see like this whole wardrobe unfold as we go along. But thank you guys so much for making us feel warm on the inside and the outside. I will tell you this too. You know, if, if you're an atheist and you're watching the show, accidentally came on this. I tell people all the time. It, it, you say you don't believe in God. Well, I believe that. You know. When you see God, you see the good in people. Mm -hmm. The Bible mm -hmm. says that God is good. And what makes people like my sisters, my brothers, and all my whole family, and our friends, and everybody who takes care of us, the way that they have in these little challenging times that we're going through. That's, that's the whole idea of our Good Stuff segment, which we do. Yeah, God is love. And I'll tell you, when, when, when you get in trouble and stuff, boy, you see your family. You see who comes to your to your side, to your aid, to yeah. your assistance. And we have some wonderful people that that every every time I think that we've been in need, you know, we, we know the God in them has come to rally for us. It's just been an amazing thing. And and you know, to get boxes from home and, and Christmas decorations. Oh I mean, gosh. if you see the tree, I mean, these were, we did not have these things. These were things that were given to us. The chairs we're sitting on, this table. Everything, the table, everything the, the flowers, here. everything you see. People, that tree back there. People donated. have donated to this ministry to make our show look as good as it does. So yeah. we thank you so much for that. You know, and I know that some of you have been following us, uh, you know, and, and, and watching this program and, and you know, religiously doing this. And I just want to say, I, I'm going to do my best to remember everybody, Steve and his family, Melissa and them. Mm -hmm. They help us move the studio. They have just been, it's so great having them live here. It's just like a, a dream come true to have them here. Who's the other? We have another Steve. Uh, 
from, where does he live, in Maine? In Maine, yes, yes. Steve from Maine. I He's mean, the list so of people, I mean, just running through our, our oh uh, my Ted, gosh. Ted and Elise. Ted and Elise. We love you, we love you, we love um, you. Jesus and Esther. I've been watching, yes. Uh, Tony and Mari. Tony uh, Mari, the people that take that have, that taken, have over taken over the Better church. Life Community Church. Uh, Miriam here. and her son Ricky. Miriam, uh, Ricky, we love you. Um, Thanks for watching. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, Holly. Ca Cal and Kathy. Cal and and Cal Holly. Holly. Uh, oh my gosh. There's uh, just Robert and <gasps> Robert and Maria yes. and Robert Vasquez and his new girlfriend. Yes. Um, and I'm trying to oh think who my else. golly gosh. Don't be mad at us. We forget. There's just yes. so many of you guys that we love. JT and Maria. Oh, JT and Maria. Uh, Alina and Grant. Yeah. Who just uh, got Lisa married. and Oscar, yeah. who have a brand new, new business new going two on. So ooh, we're glad they're doing well. And we have new visitors or new people that are watching the show. Yes, we said that last week. We're international. Some people, we got people that are watching from Brazil. Brazil. So our Brazilian Canada, audience. Canada, because that would be your... Your roots. Bonjour, bonjour, monsieur, madame. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Australia and Japan, that's right. Yeah, and we do. So, I, you know, the Bible tells us to give thanks in all things. I will tell you this. I am so grateful. You don't realize how wonderful people are until you're down and out. You know, when you're a guy like me and you have a recording contract and you're on top of the world or as, as a motivational speaker and the money's coming in, you're like, hey, but I will tell you this. You want to see the goodness of people. You know, it's just keep believing that there is a God and that God lives in people. And those people will just take care of you like something you've never seen. I am so grateful for you guys. I just want to reach out to there and just give you a great big hug and say thank you, thank you, thank you. I, we were in tears, opened our packages, and some of you send us checks in the mail, and I, you know, I just don't even know what to say. I know I cry all the time, and they say the Bible that uh, Jeremiah was a weeping prophet. I don't know if I'm... Jeremiah, but I just know that I tend to cry a lot. Uh, that's true. That's yes, true. but anyway, it's just, just you move my heart. Mm -hmm. I am so grateful for you. I'm grateful for my brother Don in Burlington, Vermont. And uh, if you're watching right now, I want you to know that we're praying for Donovan. And, mm -hmm. you know, the you've gone family. through such challenging things this, this year and mm -hmm. stuff. But, you know, God is good and people are good because God is in them. Yes, so, yes. Well, anything else you want to share this morning? I'm, I'm going to go back and take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're so glad that you did join us today. And, you know, as we always say, there's so many good people out there. So I hope that you'll come back when we do our regular Good News show. We've got a lot of new segments that we're going to be adding. And we want to show that there are really good people doing really good things for people. So come back and visit with our show. We're on every week so that you'll be able to see there is good out there. Pastor Rick? Yeah, and, and you know, what we're focusing on, on this, you know, we try to stay a, 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 away from meat as much as we can. Mm -hmm. So what we do every week on the show is we introduce a good meal, a good vegetarian, vegetarian. meal. Mm -hmm. There's also movies that we watch that we just really enjoy. Movies that are, are spiritual in nature. Uh, uplifting. Uplifting. Triumphs mm -hmm. of the human spirit. So we have a little segment called Good, good Movie. movie. Mm -hmm. Show recognizes somebody that God puts on her heart mm -hmm. that has done good stuff. And I'd like to take a moment to recognize somebody who's really touched my life who passed away today. His name is Paul Crouch. He headed up TBN. And I will tell you this. If you're one of those people who have never, who have always been critical about, about uh you know, television ministries, I will tell you this, we are here with a television ministry. Don't go criticizing people until you get to know them. We're part of a ministry here and we see the good work that the Jim Baker ministry has done. You may know something about Jim and, and Lori Baker. You may know a good, you may know bad. I will tell you this, I see the good that they do and I'm very, very thankful for what they do. But we just lost a very, very precious uh, Christian. His name was Paul Crouch. He was headed up the TBN network at 79 years old. He just died and he's home with the Lord right now. But I will tell you this, I know that that man has come home and got to face Jesus who looked at him and said, well done, my good and faithful servant. I am so grateful for television ministries. Being a rock and roll singer as dysfunctional as I've been, I didn't dare go to church. And it wasn't for the Joyce Myers and the Joel Olsteins and the 
people on TBN and, you know, you guys, so many people make fun of these people, but these people turn this abuser into somebody that uh, I can now look myself in the mirror and be proud of. So thank God for all of you television evangelists that are out there. Keep doing what you're doing. And please, everyone out there, don't focus on the bad. Focus on the good because they are making the world a better place. Well, I think I've cried enough for one show. What do you think? I think that's maybe our quarter for today. Well, I tell you what, probably we're gonna all start crying right now because uh, I know. we're gonna, gonna have Caleb sing We have a special song. guest. And I'll tell you what, um, this is dedicated to my dad. My dad's favorite song was Oh Holy Night. Oh, geez. And uh, I'm gonna have a tough time listening to this one, but Caleb, Bob, Caleb Gordon is from Illinois, and he's part of the uh, Jim Baker Show, and I'm so grateful to have him here to sing this wonderful song, and he was here helping us for the whole show, and we Late love last you. last night. <laughs> I love you, and he's such a good person. He's so loyal to the, to, the, to the Baker ministry, and he's just wonderful. So, Caleb, here it is, singing Oh Holy Night. Get yourself a hanky for this one. There you go. Take it away. The stars are bright, they shine in. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world and sin and error pining till he appeared. And the soul felt its worth A thrill of hope The weary world rejoices For yonder breaks A new and glorious morn For was born Oh night divine Oh night Oh night divine Pastor Miss Cheryl thank you for all you've done for me since you've been really do love you guys. Anything you need, just let me know. Chains he shall break, for the slave is our brother, and in his name all oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy and grateful chorus raise we let all within praise his holy name Christ.
so much.